Alright, Brian and Emma, and Dave, today, I've decided that we should be going to the ski resort this weekend before you all have to go back to school. You know what, that is a really fantastic idea. We haven't gone skiing in a few years. I agree, especially because of how much snow we got this winter. We're going to a ski resort this weekend. Yes we are, because of how much snow there was this winter. I don't think I can go to the ski resort. Why not? I think it is too cold outside. I like being near the fire in the fireplace instead. And since we have no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Now Dave, I know that you used to enjoy skiing. It's just that you haven't done so in a few years. So there's nothing to be concerned about. Besides, we're only going to the ski resort for the weekend and we'll be back before Brian and Emma have to start classes again. We're not going downhill skiing, do we? No, we're not. We're going cross-country skiing. You have to have the skills of a professional athlete in order to do downhill skiing. And we don't have the equipment for that. You know what, Brian, you have a point. I really like going cross-country skiing, and as a matter of fact, I really really miss going skiing, especially with all the restrictions that were in place two years ago. Besides, I think the last time we went skiing was 2017 or 2018, if I'm not mistaken. It was 2018 to be exact. But we know that you have been very good at skiing. It's just that we haven't been able to do it for the last few years. With that said, I think we should get everything packed, and remember your winter clothes because it is going to be very cold at the ski resort. Sounds good with me, Dave. Alright everyone, now that our suitcases are in the car, I think we should get going and head on over to the ski resort. Mr. Johnson, the cabin you have booked has been damaged by a guest who just stayed with us. However, we have some good news, there is another cabin available and we will you place you and your family there. What's good, what room number is it? You'll be placed in cabin 217. Make a left, and your cabin should be on your right, just five houses down. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, everyone, now that we're finally here, I was thinking of something. And what is it, Dave? While we're skiing, why don't we pretend to be characters from Thomas and Friends? You know what, I really miss those days. I especially miss the days when you showed me and Emma Shining Time Station. And that was a really good show back in the 80s and 90s. I also miss those days too. Now let's get going on the track. Wow, Dad, you really ski like a professional. I think you're going to make it to the Winter Olympics in 2026. I know Dad is going to win a lot of gold medals. Now kids, don't be silly. Your dad isn't going to be competing in the Olympics. Let's catch the other train engine. All right, Thomas, here we come. Don't forget about me, Thomas. Dad, how much longer until we get to the next train station? First, we have to meet up with my friends Gordon and James. And now where to next? Shining Time Station is our destination. Hold on everybody, the trains are going to go 70 miles an hour. Ho ho ho, just what in the world are you doing here with my skis? First one to Shining Time Station gets to go through the Anything Tunnel. Hey, you, I'm talking to you. Can't you answer me? 
Hey, those are my skis you know. And you are going to pay for what you did to me on Christmas. I wish I can call Taryn, but there is hardly any cell phone service here because we're in the mountains. All of you, give me back my skis, and stop skiing on my property. Karen, what are you doing in our cabin? More like what are you doing in my cabin? And how dare you and your family take my skis and use them? Look Karen, why do you have to keep on bothering us? It's because number one, you all were using my skis, and I did not say you can use them. Number two, this is actually my cabin, and you're trespassing right now. And number three, you are going to pay me big time after what you did to me on Christmas. Look, entitled Karen, you deserve to get cold for Christmas because of how you treat other people who are not entitled like you are, demanding they stop doing whatever they're doing and claiming their belongings are yours. Shut up. You're lying to me. You told me you were giving me Gucci handbags for Christmas, but instead you gave me coal. Worse, you were laughing at me on the street, which was not very nice. Karen, this is not your cabin. My wife and I paid for this cabin, and those skis over there belong to me and my family. You somehow found a way to get into our cabin, didn't you? Why? Now Dave, we're going to get this all sorted out, so don't you worry. I beg your pardon, this is my cabin, and you're not allowed in here. You're lying to me. Also, I needed to talk to you and your family earlier, but you all ignored me, especially you, motor car cry baby. Well, I'm not a motor car. 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 Stop calling me a motor car. That's not very nice. Wow, what a childish crybaby. Don't you realize that you and your family are way too old to be playing characters from Thomas and Friends? No wonder you act the way you do. Wow, what a childish lawn mower. As a matter of fact, I demand you to mow my lawn every day during spring and summer to make up for what you did to me on Christmas. Stop calling me a lawn mower, entitled Karen. Dave, I know you are still trying to improve, but that it's not how you react to these situations. Be quiet. For trespassing onto my cabin, taking my skis, and giving me coal for Christmas. I demand all of you to mow my lawn every single day during the spring and summer. How delusional are you? We don't have a lot of time to do that. My kids are in school, and sometimes they have a lot of homework. Besides, they don't know how to use a lawnmower. I still drive the school bus for preschoolers and kindergartners. Nonsense, I know you have all the time in the world. All you do is sit in the living room all day watching baby shows and eating junk food. Don't you have a life or something? Karen, that is enough. Now I am going to demand you leave the cabin, or I am getting hotel security. Karen, I need to talk to you. Officer, thank goodness you're here. Actually, I work for hotel security. But I will get the police involved if you don't do what I'm about to tell you. I saw through the surveillance footage that you used Go Animate Logic to get into that cabin and claimed it was yours. And I could hear you bothering that family, even when they were skiing. I cannot allow that behavior to continue. I am going to have to ask you to leave the property. No. You need to get this crybaby out of here because he took my skis, and now his family is refusing to leave my cabin. Karen, I don't want to hear another word from you. Get out now. Fine, you win, but one day, I want you to do something about that crybaby. He needs to have a life instead of sitting at home watching baby shows all day. Wow. 
Wow, that was a really fun trip, except the incident with Karen. But other than that, I'm glad we had a really good time going skiing. I'm glad you enjoyed the skiing trip, Dave. I knew you were going to really like it. I also enjoyed the trip, and I cannot wait to go back there again someday. Same here, I'm wondering when we're going back to the ski resort. Probably not until next Christmas. But if there's snow in February, then we can go back there one weekend. Mm -hmm.